And Christian groups have reacted badly to the Girl Guides announcement that they're changing their official pledge. After 50 years of swearing allegiance to God and the Queen, both are being dropped. It's been a tradition for nearly a century, but times have changed. I promise to do my best to be true to myself and develop my beliefs. This wasn't a group of adults saying, this is how it's going to be. We, we believe in the power of advocacy, so we asked our girls what they wanted. The old promise to do their duty to God and to serve the Queen in their country has been slashed. Instead, the new version honours a commitment for girl guides to be true to themselves and follow their own thinking. Everyone's welcome is this because it says belief, which means it can be any belief. The new wording's a lot more relevant to girls today. And in the Girl Guide law, an order to be obedient is no longer appropriate. Just because the Queen is no longer mentioned in the promise doesn't mean she's been forgotten. The highest award here is still named after her and her picture will continue to hang in many of the halls. We're outraged by the decision to remove the uh, symbols of the Crown and also references to God from the Oath of Allegiance and they've replaced it with something which is essentially a wishy-washy statement. But in a world away, tradition continues. Prince William installed by the Queen as a knight into the Order of the Thistle. Christy Cooper. Seven News. Winter may make you feel as, as Phil Mercer reports from Sydney. I promise that I will do my best to serve my queen and my country. Australia's 28,000 girl guides are to embrace a new promise and they've removed any reference to God or their head of state, Britain's Queen Elizabeth. Senior officials say the changes are designed to attract new recruits to a more modern, relevant organisation from any faith or culture. I promise that I will do my best to be true to myself and develop my beliefs. Girl guides in Australia will now pledge to do their best to be true to myself and develop my beliefs rather than do my duty to God to serve the Queen and my country. Not all belief systems have a God. There are many belief systems that are very good spiritual systems, are Indigenous people, and there's not a specific God as such. So we are open to girls of all cultures, all belief systems, and we feel that um, to develop my beliefs is much more inclusive of our multicultural Australia. The review follows a two-year survey of all girl guides, and while no offence is intended towards the monarch, some clearly think that the time is right for a change. Not everyone thinks the Queen should be part of Australia still, and not everyone also believes in the God. Australia is a constitutional monarchy, and there are those who believe it's wrong for the girl guides to adopt a new pledge that excludes God and Britain's Queen Elizabeth. The vast majority of Australia is a Christian nation, uh, and we also largely support our system of government and that they should be reflecting that in their oath. While the guides may be embracing change, the Australian Scouts movement, which allows boys to pledge to do their duty to the Queen, says it has no plans to alter the wording in its promise. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney. You're watching BBC World News still.